the next day and I thought I'd show you what I picked up from London yesterday. I also picked up this new um, linen shirt. I got it from Zara. If you guys watched one of the videos, I was after the linen one from Naked because um, the quality was so good. I have it in white and beige, but it's constantly out of stock. Um, so I saw this one in Zara, which is quite like oversized as well. It's quite long. Um, I think it was like 29 99 so the same price, but this is actually like 100% um, linen. Um, so yeah, I picked up this yesterday. I was going to try and vlog in there, but the the store I went to was actually the one that was on like near Tottenham Court Road, and they're doing like a big refit. So as you walked in, like loads was blocked off, and it was absolute carnage in there. I think it was around lunchtime when I went in there, so you can imagine like it was crazy. And I then went for a nice lunch meeting one of the girls from GHG. So I thought I'd show you what I picked up from and other stories. Um, you'll probably guess what I picked up because yeah I was obsessed with it so I couldn't really talk through the items in there like I've done before because there was music playing it was quite loud um, so I thought I'd show you what I got but I'll also run through what I tried on and why I didn't end up picking it so first thing I got which I was very very chuffed with is this beautiful blazer so I mean I know we're sort of technically still in summer but if you guys know if any of you love under the stories these blazers the wool ones are so popular and they just go so quickly so this is the camel one I got it in size 34 um, it's the wool blazer I just love the quality I have a beige one um, and also the nice mole color which is more of like a khaki like sage which I got from the store before which I was after for ages because when like autumn hits um, in the winter time like this colour is always out of stock so I was trying to get it last year um, but it was never in stock so I thought I'm going to get it now it's back in stock ready for the new season um, such a nice colour really classic style I just love these wool blazers I saw them a lot in the autumn but also transitionally as well and I feel like I do get quite a lot of wear out of them so yeah I had to have it in this camel shade so like I said I got it in the size 34 very true to size and this was £165 but like I said with under the stories quality is unreal my other wool blazer looks immaculate and it's like three years old so yeah had to get it in this brown colour then next I picked up these new linen shorts so I was actually after a white pair of linen shorts um, like more of a tailored style so I have like my white Bermudas and I have a pair of linen shorts which have like a drawstring on so they're more casual but I wanted like a tailored pair where I can add a belt but I also love as well it has like a little button detail just on here and I also tried these on in the black as well which I was very very tempted to get but I have some other black tailored shorts and I just feel like I get more wear out of the white and I just love this style they're a really great fit as well and I thought I'd be a size 36 in these but I actually am a size 34 because I only had size 34s in stock so I was like I really hope that it fit me but perfect fit and then these were £55 so I would have had the black as well but I was just like I want to get like a different style short in the black instead of having two of the same but yeah love the fit of these and finally I picked up a new basic vest top so I love under the stories for the quality of their basics, I always get like a new t-shirt from there and their vest tops and whatnot. Just have really good quality basics. And like with me having like a minimal wardrobe and a capsule wardrobe, I've really focused. I'd say over the last like year and a half of like replacing things that are lower quality um, and then replacing with better quality pieces which are a bit more money but they do stand the test of time they last a lot better in your wardrobe but I love this one because it's a bit more cut out so the one I'm wearing now has this detail on and this one's a little bit thicker but it also has like the racer back as well um so yeah organic cotton they have them in lots of different colors and this was 17 pounds so i thought i'd pick up a new white vest top then in terms of everything that i tried on i'll put a picture on this side so of course here is that blazer on i love the fit of it very very me again looks lovely with this outfit as well with all white underneath um, I'm styling that new H&M bell, which looks like the Celine one. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you would have seen me raving about it. But I think it's literally sold out already. Um, so it comes in like this nice tan colour and it also comes in, it's more like a tan beige. And it also comes in black as well. So yeah, such a good dupe for the Celine bell. Um, so yeah, love the blazer. And then I also tried on this little basic top. This is more of like a knitted cashmere style. Um, I tried this on in a size small. Again, really lovely. Looks nice style with the trousers and the belt as well. Um, but I didn't end up picking it because it had like a pen mark on um, I didn't have anything else in my size so I thought oh, I'll get it another time but it was a bit more pricey because it was cashmere I think it was around £45 and um, I just thought oh I love it but I was like oh, I'll see if I can order it online because I did like how it sort of sat 
and again a really nice colour. And the next item I tried on was this silk shirt. So again, I really liked this, but I just found like I wanted it to be a little bit longer. And it also, because it was silk, I find that sometimes it feels a little bit staticky. So you know when you're wearing something, it's like staticky and it, sits, it like sticks to you. Uh, so I thought, oh, it would annoy me, but I really liked how this hung. Um, and also the button details are a bit different. Instead of having like a normal like button gap, it had like two together, a bigger gap, and then two together. And then like across my bust, there was a bit of a gap. So obviously if there was bigger like gaps between the buttons, it was like really gapy. Um, I tried this on a 36, but really lovely quality. And then the next thing I tried on was this jumper. So this jumper was absolutely beautiful, was insane. It's a really good dupe for the Totem. I can't never say the brand, I probably butchered it. Um, it's a really good dupe for that jumper. Uh, I know it's probably too early for me to try on jumpers, but I am ready for autumn now. Um, and I know you guys always love my autumn content, but I did love this jumper. This was the size small, so I feel like I could have sized down to the extra small. It was very big, but the only thing I didn't like about it was the neck. So it just like... I rolled it up and then it sat too high and then I rolled it down and I didn't like the roll down bit and I was like oh my god that jump out would have been perfect if it wasn't for the neck like if it just had a nice like normal like rolls neck it would have been perfect but yeah I think I need to try on the extra small it was very oversized but I just love the colour of it it's so nice and you guys know I absolutely love my stripes as well and then here's a picture of those lovely white linen shorts on as you can see a really great fit really great length as well they're very very flattering on I was very chuffed with these and and then here's a quick picture of the black ones as well you can't really see them that great and um, with the lighting in there but as you can see exactly the same a really nice fit they did have a pair of linen shorts with that sort of button detail just on its own so i was very tempted i saw them on the way out and i was like i feel like i want a pair of shorts a black which are more like tailored like suit material um, but yeah, I love the black ones. A really great staple and lovely quality. And yeah, that was everything that I tried on. I also share a little quick outfit pick of the day that I was wearing as I didn't get to talk through my outfit. So here I'm wearing my Everlane blazer, which is my favourite blazer. I just love the style of it. I love the colour. I've then got a simple vest up on, my H&M linen trousers, the new Celine belt dupe, my June shoes, and of course my Chloe tote bag. It was honestly so muggy and warm in London. Like it felt so sticky. Um, so when I got home, I just couldn't wait to... Like, like, take my makeup off, get changed, have a shower, and yeah, just chill for the evening. So yeah, that's all for my and other stories come shopping with me. I feel like it's a little bit of a taste out for autumn, but I thought I am going to book and go back, I think probably the beginning of September. So I will do like a full like autumn come shopping with me with knitwear. Like they did have quite a lot in. They had lots of nice trench coats in, some lovely knitwear piece, and I got very, very excited. But I was like, I'm going to just hold off, wait for actual September to hit, because I think the weather's actually going to be nice next week. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have then please do make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well so yeah as always thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye guys <laughs>